Just a quick check-in to chat about your gadget strategy. There's a lot going on in the world today, and many companies are still hashing out their work from home strategies with their employees. On top of that, we're getting through the summer, schools are gonna be back in session soon, and there's probably gonna be a run on laptops and Chromebooks and tablets. A number of retailers and manufacturers concerned they might not be able to meet that demand. In this age of social distancing and sheltering in place, whether you live on your own or you're the family IT department, we've never leaned on compute power harder than we are today. If you've got any of my videos in the past, you probably know where I'm going with this, but if you need to outfit a spouse and a child or multiple children and still have some kind of screen for your own use, you should not ignore the power of your phone. A phone is just a computer in a cute, pocketable shell. I know we like to draw these imaginary boundary lines in between different products, but ultimately this thing chews up information and spits out results, so you probably use it in a variety of places you might not have considered. On top of that, these things have gotten silly powerful over the last several years. Now, the main issue with portability this is a screen that's really designed for briefer interactions. Even a larger phone, which is great for multimedia consumption and gaming, you're still not gonna wanna sit in front of all day long. But that's where this compute power is so compelling. A handful of accessories, if you have an extra monitor lying around or you choose to buy in an expensive display, a keyboard, a mouse, you can do a pretty decent job of replicating a more traditional computing environment. And that's even before we get into advanced desktop modes and additional software or virtual desktop. And for those of us sheltering in place, we're really working from home, having those extra accessories can help improve even the phone screen experience. There have been a handful of times where I've been in the middle of a Discord conversation and typing on a software keyboard, I just wasn't able to keep up, so I flip open a Bluetooth keyboard and I'm ready to message at a much more aggressive pace. I completely admit that is a little bit silly, but there are so many interactions on our phone that can be improved by more traditional computer accessories. I feel this global situation took some of us by surprise. We weren't really stocking up on a family computer. Maybe we have a laptop lying around. Maybe there's a tablet or just a spare smartphone. There are so many opportunities for us though to really maximize the potential of each computer chip, every CPU in our homes. A laptop in the household might become more of a family computer moving around to who needs it at a specific time. That doesn't mean you still don't need to get other things done or be accessible for other communications issues while the laptop or the computer is being used by someone else in your household. And best of all, these accessories usually aren't that expensive if we're looking at a laptop hub or a better keyboard and mouse or a gaming headset so that you can kind of block out the world around you when you're talking with your coworkers. Modest but targeted investments to your tech portfolio and you're gonna get a lot more use out of the products you probably already own. And I like showing this stuff off because I genuinely do use mobile products like this, where I'm editing video, creating content, writing out scripts, replying to PR. And I like having the flexibility of not always having to sit in front of my workstation all day to accomplish some pretty high level work. If you're in a situation where you just need another screen to get some extra work done, don't forget about your phone. And I wanna hear from the folks that regularly follow my channel. I'm sure there's gonna be some discussion below this video. What are some of the other strategies you've employed to help expand on a multiple screen, multiple computer family style arrangement? Do you have to keep a calendar of who gets what computer at what time? Or are you working on individual screens for individual people? Drop some comments down below. I'm sure there's some discussion here which can help other people who are looking at similar situations. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these random rambling editorial videos and for subscribing to the channel. More than just nerding out on one phone because it has the most mega pickles or the best giggle flips, we really wanna use this stuff and we really wanna see how we can drive this purchase to help us offset the costs maybe needing to buy a whole extra computer. If you would like to help support the production of conversations like these, there are those links down below. There's the support page over on somegadgetguy.com, or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. That's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future editorials and videos and reviews. They're super cool people, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next video.